Hey everyone, this is Matthew speaking. It's been a long time since I've made a video. It's been about two years ago since I made a video dealing with the cylinder phonograph. Now on those videos you'll find some experiments that I'd made where I'd built an electric recorder and also an electric playback device to play cylinders electronically. There's a good friend of mine on YouTube Benjamin from the United States, also known as the Victrola guy. He has a series of videos and I'll include a link to his channel in the video description. And also he sells many phonograph accessories through eBay, including a device of his own creation called the Archivette, which allows you to transfer cylinders full of clarity electronically. You just need an existing phonograph cylinder reproducer to do the task. Now with my electric recorder that I'd made uh, two years ago you'll see the results I got. Now I was using an original Edison cutter that was unfortunately badly fractured. I bought a few parts off eBay like mainly Edison recorder bodies and one original Edison cutting stylus. I'm now in possession of an original working 1905 Edison recorder that fully works and it's all original including the mica diaphragm and the original Edison cutter. What you're looking at now is an electric recorder that I've built and it uses an original Edison recorder body but has a jack plug connected to it and this enables you to plug a quarter inch jack lead into the recorder and then simply place the recorder into the carriage eye and make electric recordings onto blank cylinders directly. Unlike many other designs, this recorder is an invention of my own and it doesn't use a diaphragm as such, but the actual stylus holder that I've made vibrates. So that is the part that vibrates and it doesn't really use a diaphragm as such. Now as I said earlier, the one thing that is letting you down is the stylus, is the cutting stylus. And I'm on the lookout for a cupped Edison stylus. And uh, this is going to make a night and day difference. You will see in the following video clips that the grooves that I am getting at the moment with this glass stylus are not cutting efficient and the volume is very low at present and the clarity of is also not very good but this is just to document my early progress on the recorder. I think actually the results I got two years ago were slightly better even with the fractured original Edison cup stylus as uh, of course that is sapphire and uh, not glass and this is just uh, a piece of glass, it's a glass rod that I'm using. Um, I've also actually made an acoustic recorder using a glass rod and this has actually got better results. I think uh, I've got the angle better on the glass and that's making a lot of swarf when I'm making the recording um, on the acoustic one. But anyway, you're going to see the results I've got in the early stages of my electric Edison recorder. Enjoy. This is a test recording of an electric recorder that I've built. Testing one, two, three, four, five. The one thing that is letting me down at the moment is the cutting stylus. I'm using a glass rod at the moment, and I might try to use another piece of glass, as this one doesn't seem to be making deep green as I would like. And I know that with an improvement of the cutting stylus, the volume will increase and the clarity will also increase as well. The one thing that is letting me down at the moment is the cutting stylus. I'm using a glass rod at the moment and I might try to use another piece of glass. But this one doesn't seem to be making deep greens as I would like. And I know that with an improvement of the cutting stylus, the volume will increase and the clamping will also increase as well. <laughs> 